an extraordinary display took over the night skies above Oroho, capturing the attention and imagination of many observers. According to Christian doctrines, it is expected that Jesus Christ will return to earth in glory, an event prophesied to be splendid, unmistakable, and full of majesty. As the bells rang out, signaling that a moment of great significance was imminent, anxiety and fear began to spread among the people, faced with signs that seemed to align with ancient prophecies. We witnessed the drying up of the waters of the Euphrates River, escalating conflicts in the Middle East, natural disasters in Mecca with destructive impacts, and efforts to build the Third Temple. It appears that celestial beings are bringing with them the light and love of God to the world, offering hope and salvation to souls during the difficult times of the Great Tribulation. This raises the question, are these celestial entities preparing the way for divine return? The possibility of redemption for humanity is a theme worthy of reflection. In today's video, we will delve deeply into this debate, seeking to understand the mysteries and messages behind these events. Make sure you watch until the end to gain a complete understanding of these extraordinary events. The heavens have been a stage for unusual occurrences, sparking intense debates about the possibility of divine miracles, life beyond Earth and speculation about climate change or teleportation phenomena. Observations of natural phenomena such as clouds and shadows resembling angelic figures have sparked intense debates over the possibility of them being divine signs or evidence of extraterrestrial visitations. Once, a shape in the sky, which many likened to the image of Jesus, prompted discussions on whether it was an optical illusion or an angelic manifestation. Similarly, reports of sightings of humanoid figures flying have fueled speculations and debates. Such events lead many to ponder the idea that these could be signs of the awaited return of Jesus Christ. But what truly causes some people to see in these phenomena the omens of such a significant event? This belief finds roots in biblical narratives that associate celestial signs with the prelude to Christ's return. According to the interpretation of passages like Matthew 24, 30, the appearance of extraordinary phenomena in the sky will precede the moment when the sign of the Son of Man will be seen by all, marking the arrival of Jesus in the clouds, with great power and glory, causing consternation among the nations. Those who ignore or disregard these celestial signs will be surprised and terrorized by the return of Christ. However, for the faithful, Jesus offers words of hope. In the face of these signs, they should rise and look up, for redemption is drawing near, as described in Luke 21:28. Vigilance in the face of these signs is seen as a way to find refuge from divine wrath. Furthermore, the Bible provides insights into the nature of angels, spiritual beings mentioned as messengers of God. Angels are described as entities endowed with intellect, emotions, and free will, characteristics that apply to both angels who remain faithful to God and those who rebelled. Although they are spiritual beings without tangible physical bodies, they have the ability to interact in various ways with the material world, according to the needs of their mission or divine orders. Although they don't have a tangible physical presence, angels preserve their unique identities. Under certain circumstances, they have the ability to assume visible forms. Being entities created by God, they possess extensive yet limited knowledge, not reaching the omnipresence or omniscience of God. This broad angelic knowledge can be attributed to three main aspects. First, angels exist in a spiritual realm higher than humans, equipped since their creation with superior intelligence. Second, they have direct access to sacred teachings. Third, their perspective is enriched by continuous witnessing of human history, not needing to learn about the past through studies but having experienced these events directly. This direct experience allows angels to deeply understand human actions and reactions over time, enabling them to predict future behaviors with remarkable accuracy. Angels, although endowed with free will, are bound to God's will, serving divine purposes in ways that essentially differ from human existence. God appoints benevolent angels to offer guidance and protection to believers, underscoring the distinction between humans and angels. Contrary to popular belief, human death does not result in a transformation into an angel, as angels and humans are distinct creations of God. While humans are biblically described as created in the image and likeness of God, angels are depicted through various descriptions of their celestial manifestations. A notable example is found in the book of Daniel, chapter 10, 
where the angelic appearance is described in vivid detail. A body like Beryl, a face shining like lightning, eyes shining like torches of fire, and limbs gleaming like polished bronze, illustrating the majestic and distinct nature of these celestial beings. Your voice resonated with the force of an immense choir. When speaking of the celestial being who moved the stone from the entrance of Jesus' tomb, it is emphasized that he shone intensely resembling a ray and was dressed in pure white like snow, a vision so imposing that it left the guards around completely immobilized by fear. The existence of angels is not mere conjecture. They are real, not figures created by our imagination. In the book of Genesis, specifically in chapters 18 and 19, the story describes how Abraham was visited by celestial beings. These divine figures demonstrate the ability to appear and disappear at will, confirming their physical presence. This raises the question, do angels continue to make themselves present in our days? Sacred scriptures document several instances where angels manifested to humans in various surprising ways. An initial reading may suggest that such encounters were common, although they were actually exceptional. In modern times, there is a renewed interest in angels, with numerous accounts of interactions with these celestial figures. They are a constant in various spiritual traditions, often serving as messengers. According to current reports, these angelic appearances can vary greatly in form. Sometimes a stranger appears just in time to prevent a disaster or a near death, only to disappear without a trace. In other situations, one may perceive for a moment the presence of a figure with wings or dressed in luminous attire. His voice echoed with the strength of a vast assembly. We speak of the angel who moved the stone from Jesus' tomb, whose appearance shone intensely like lightning and whose garments were as pure white as snow, causing such great fear in the guards that it left them motionless. The existence of angels is not mere fantasy. They are real. In the book of Genesis, specifically in chapters 18 and 19, the encounter of Abraham with celestial beings is recounted. These entities possess the gift of appearing and disappearing at will, which proves their palpable reality. It is questioned whether, in modern times, angels continue to manifest among us. The Bible documents several instances where angels interacted with humans in surprising and varied ways. A quick reading may suggest that such encounters were common, but they were, in fact, exceptional. In present times, there is a renewed interest in angels, accompanied by numerous accounts of encounters with these figures. Present in various spiritual traditions, angels often serve as messengers. According to modern reports, these angelic appearances can vary greatly in form. In some situations, a stranger suddenly appears to prevent a serious accident or imminent death, quickly disappearing without a trace. At other times, the presence of a winged figure or one dressed in white may be perceived only for moments and disappears without a trace. Those who witness the presence of an angel often report a profound inner peace and a sense of closeness to the divine. There are accounts of angelic encounters that include the sight of heavenly choirs. A biblical example is found in Luke 2.13, where shepherds were approached by a heavenly choir announcing the birth of Jesus. Similarly, there are those who share experiences of angelic choirs in places considered sacred, notable for promoting spiritual well-being without seeking a pragmatic goal. The choir in Luke in turn conveyed news of great importance. A variant of these encounters involves only a tactile experience, such as elderly individuals feeling embraced or caressed by wings during periods of loneliness, suggesting divine comfort in times of need. Scriptures often present God as a source of comfort offering protection under his wings. Divine influence and the action of angels in the world remain as active as in past eras. Just as angels protected the devout in the past, there are reasons to believe in the continuity of this protection today. Hebrews 13 2 reminds us, Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by so doing some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. This passage suggests that by living according to divine teachings, we may encounter angels even without realizing it. God in crucial moments allowed his followers to perceive these celestial beings to encourage them to remain faithful to divine service. However, it is crucial to be aware of the existence of angels who do not seek our good. Those who under Satan's leadership are dedicated to diverting and destroying us. 
using numerous strategies to do so. Motivation flourishes as we understand that celestial seraphim actively participate in our everyday lives. In rare moments, some individuals may be blessed with direct encounters with these entities. However, there is even greater solace in the promise of Jesus Christ, who affirmed, I am with you always, to the end of the age, as mentioned in Matthew 28, 20. Jesus, worshipped by the angels he himself created, pledged his constant companionship in our struggles. And what about the biblical prophecies that speak of extraordinary celestial phenomena? Jesus Christ and the Apostle John described supernatural events involving the sun, the moon, and the stars, foretold to occur between the Great Tribulation and the Day of the Lord. What, then, would be the divine purpose behind these signs in the last days? In the prophecy Jesus made on the Mount of Olives recorded in Matthew 24, He revealed various precursory signs of the end times, Immediately following a time of unparalleled tribulation mentioned in the same chapter, the universe will witness catastrophic events. The sun will be darkened, the moon will lose its brightness, stars will fall from the sky, and the celestial balance will be disturbed. In the book of Revelation chapter 6 verses 12 to 17, narrate the moment when the sixth seal is broken, unleashing an unprecedented cataclysm. The earth shakes violently, the sun darkens, taking on the color of funeral cloth, and the moon turns a bloody hue while stars fall from the sky to the earth, resembling green figs ripped off by strong winds. The heavens shrink, resembling a scroll being rolled up. In this apocalyptic context, islands and mountains are torn from their places. People from all social spheres, from leaders to slaves, seek refuge in caves and rocky crevices, pleading with the mountains and rocks to hide them from the sight of the one who sits on the divine throne and from the wrath of the Lamb, marking the beginning of an era of divine judgment. And who can withstand it? Historically, humanity has always been fascinated by celestial bodies, oscillating between reverence and the search for hidden meanings. Rare astronomical events such as eclipses and comets were seen as omens of imminent disasters. However, with scientific progress, humanity has learned to map the cosmos, anticipating events like eclipses and the movement of comets. The question remains, what still has the power to capture people's fascination in the contemporary era? The celestial events foretold by Jesus can be considered remarkable fulfillments of biblical prophecies. He spoke of signs in the heavens, including the darkening of the sun and moon, falling stars, and the shaking of the heavens which would be powerful testimonies and align with various prophecies from the Old Testament. A detailed vision of these cosmic signs, along with Jesus' prediction of celestial cataclysms, would definitely capture the imagination of those living at that time. Similarly, John's visions, which additionally speak of a great earthquake, would have a profound impact. Such events are foretold in the Old Testament, especially in the context of what is called the Day of the Lord. The dramatic descriptions in Isaiah speak of people seeking refuge among the rocks to escape the grandeur of God. On that day, human arrogance will be humbled, and only God will be exalted. The purpose of the day of the Lord is to challenge human arrogance and exaltation, bringing everything to a state of humility. Selfishness has been a significant obstacle in seeking a deeper connection with God, preventing us from truly becoming His children. Likewise, pride deteriorates our relationships with others, leading to continual pain and suffering. It seems that the only way to overcome this barrier of pride is through decisive divine intervention. And that is precisely what God plans to accomplish. In this challenging moment, humanity will become aware of the emptiness of its illusory deities, abandoning them as creatures take refuge in caves, akin to bats and moles. This renunciation applies not only to statues, talismans, or objects of worship, but also, as emphasized by Paul, to contemporary worship that manifests in our greed and excessive desire. Cars, entertainment equipment, and other symbols of status surpass the domestic gods revered in ancient cultures. Over time, the obsession with accumulation will be seen for the emptiness it truly is. Isaiah, in his prophecy, associates the day of the Lord with the darkness that will affect stars, sun, and moon, symbolizing a great transformation. Our existence is ephemeral. We disappear as quickly as we arrive. However, we often live as if the present is all that exists. With the finite time that God offers us in this world, what do we invest our effort in? Do we surrender to work, 
Do we idolize money, place immense value on our relationships and family, tirelessly seek pleasure, venerate the material elements of life? But think about the angels. They see reality as it truly is. They witnessed the entire life of Jesus Christ from beginning to end. And what is their response? They bow in worship to Christ. He is the center of their lives. He is the primary target of their love and devotion. Currently, the seraphim sing praises to Christ, and it is our duty to follow that example. How can we praise Christ? How can we make Him the focus of our existence? We praise Christ by embracing instead of rejecting the grace of redemption that He has provided us. We praise Christ by standing firm in the face of the trials that surround us. We praise Christ by dedicating to His Church, for whom He gave His life not just symbols but our most precious gifts. We praise Christ by aligning our will with His, proclaiming, Thy will be done, not mine. Therefore, let us come to praise Christ the King. That concludes our video for today. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Your participation is our inspiration. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest news. We look forward to your return in our next videos. Until then, may the peace of God be with you.